How's it going folks, it's Rob here. And this week's clip is going to be a bit of a renovation update. Uh, we've hit a bit of a milestone. Uh, CJ Box and Sons are out of here. They're pretty much all finished. So thank you very much to Joey, Matt and John. Uh, Mr. John Box, they've done a fantastic job here. Uh, we couldn't be more pleased. Could we, Bianca? No. No, we couldn't be more pleased. Uh, so they're off on to another build. I think they're doing a relocation. Uh, house at the moment, so uh, they may need to come back uh, once or twice to pick up stuff they've forgotten But um, other than that, yeah, they're pretty much all out of here um, So anyway, I'll stop nattering on I'll give you a look downstairs Then I'll flip the camera around on the phone and we'll have a bit of a tour upstairs So as you can see from behind me, uh, we've got all the battens on So the place is now secure There's a uh, double gate there. It's got a padlock so we can lock it up and it's, um, the place is pretty much all separated into two areas, battened areas. There's this main area here that we're using as a workspace. And there's an area out the front that has all our solar box and we're gonna put gardening bits and pieces and that sort of stuff in there. Um, just out here at the moment, I am working on a laminate flooring for the laundry. And yeah, well, one of the other things that happened, the uh, dud pump from last week, still haven't put that away. Um, and the Blue Boy, the big whole house um, filtering system, we're not connecting that at the moment because we just can't afford the installation or to replace the filters at the moment. Um, so that's something that will happen on down the line when we get a little bit of cash. Um, but yeah, it's, it's absolutely fantastic having this little uh, flat area that we can work on. Um, down there we'll probably put a little table set uh, once we scrounge one up. Uh, in here, Bianca is working on the pantry shelves, just a little Ikea set, she's just sealing them uh, so they don't um, soak up any dust and bits and pieces and eventually we'll end up with all the stuff that's down the back in the hoop house moved up here underneath the house. And that's just the laminate flooring uh, for downstairs, uh, I've just popped them into the same uh, patterns so we can rotate them through so you don't end up with the same design. And yes, we are using laminate flooring in the laundry. Our laundry or our washing machine doesn't tend to um, leak water everywhere, so it's all right to use. And I've looked into it and I know other people have had it in their laundry with no issues. So I'm just um, up to the door here. Um, one thing that we are doing, if you've ever worked with laminate, um, one thing we are doing is we're not skirt, cutting under the skirting board to slide this under. We're actually going to use some quarter dowel uh, because eventually, once we build in all out here, all out here will be built in as well. Um, we will have tile that runs through the whole area and it will all be matched up. So this was basically the cheapest, nicest looking option for now. Because believe it or not, the bank want a suitable flooring product down here uh, before they'll sign off on our loan. I mean, I would have been happy with painted concrete, but apparently that wasn't on the cards. Um, yeah, so because we're not cutting under the skirting board, the other thing that's happening is I'm having to make up some um, custom little um, transitions. So we've just got a bit of um, timber there that's just been glued down for now, but that'll come up and we'll tile to that level eventually. Um, yeah, but we've pretty much all finished painting everything bar the doors down here. Um, this little area down in here will end up being my storeroom once I finish it today, put all the root pouches and uni seals and all of that sort of stuff down there. So it's pretty much all where I'll be running the shop from. Uh, the stairs were all done. I think I showed that last clip, they've all been sealed. Uh, the hallway's been painted, or the stairwell up to upstairs. That's all finished now. Um, that's Ben working in the um, kitchen, just grabbing the tiles. So we might walk around the front and show you what's going on there. So the front stairs, they're all finished as well. And we have our um, handrails in and the wire. Uh, this is Bianca just moving stuff out of the house. Uh, the floors, they're all polished now. So I don't think you um, saw that last clip. I think we were just getting ready to polish it. Uh, there's a bit of debris and bits and pieces around. Uh, just from, yeah, moving bits and pieces out. Uh, starting to get stuff back in the house. And Bianca's just doing our bedroom, which needs a major makeover. We've painted the hallway. It's pretty much all sorted. We'll put light on, hey? And um, Bianca's just downstairs fixing up the doors there. And down in here, the bathroom is all done. You saw that last time, we well, just moving in today, getting bits and pieces into the cabinets. Uh, the shower's all sorted out. We're going to get some stickers, uh, just on the glass so people can see it. They don't have an accident. 
And also to the hallway, um, it's been polished as well. And we have some tiles down on the kitchen floor and also the cabinets in. And Ben's just grouting it up today. Thank you very much, Ben. Um, so yeah, that'll all be dry tomorrow for when the movers bring the fridge in. And um, yeah, we're really chuffed with the way it's gone. Uh, we also uh, redid the lounge room. We um, fixed all the cracks in the old Horsair plaster walls. Bianca did an excellent job on the cornice. Uh, the one last thing we really need to do in here is replace the light. We're getting a fan light in here uh, just because it gets a little bit hot here. So just to circulate the air. But yeah, all the massive cracks in the walls, uh, fixed them up. Bianca did the cornice, did an awesome job. We've painted it up and with the polished floorboards, it looks absolutely awesome. So we're really chuffed about that. It's turned out really well. Need to um, clean up the old tacky Venetian blinds though. So one thing we do have left to do in here is the windows. We've replaced some of the, um, the locks. Um, haven't filled in any of the holes. That's because Bianca wants to take these down and strip them. Um, she's getting right into all this um, repairing and restoring stuff. So not gonna stop her. But yeah, the paint needs to come off. A uh, new coat of paint on. And we've got some new handles. All the chrome is starting to peel off them, blister off them. So um, yeah, that will be replaced. So we still don't have a um, driveway as such yet. That's our paint cleaning station. Um, but in a couple of paychecks time, we're going to get a, a meter or two, cubic meter or two of um, rock just dumped on the driveway, uh, just to level it out and give us something that won't turn into a quagmire every time it rains. Uh, the new room, the dining room and the extension you've already seen, that's been painted and all finished off. And here's a bit of a look at the kitchen from another angle. Obviously, no bench tops yet, they're going in tomorrow morning. Um, and that's going to be our splashback tile. And this tile is going behind the um, oven. Um, the deck, Bianca finished the deck yesterday, just oiled it up. We've had a, some pretty miserable weather, so haven't had um, uh, two fine days to do the deck in a row. But yeah, it came up really well. So that's been oiled and um, the handrail's been oiled as well. So we're pretty chuffed about that. Uh, the yard still looks a mess and unfortunately um, it's not very high on the priority list at the moment. We need to move back in the house. I've actually had a few supporters complain that I'm not doing um, enough aquaponics and gardening clips. Well, that's because we've been slightly um, preoccupied with trying to finish off the house. Sorry folks, but that's just the way it's happening at the moment. Um, other odd jobs we need to do is like um, paint up all the surrounds around the windows. They have to be finished. Um, the same with the sliding doors here and um, all the doors and architraves and that downstairs as well and we still have things like um, door handles to replace um, what else have we got to do oh there's some more painting outside a lot of painting outside and a lot of landscaping so once more i really do need to give a huge thank you and shout out to cnj box and son joey matt and john i really do appreciate all the effort you put into this place there will be more update clips on the renovations, but I'm going to try and focus more on the aquaponics and gardening. Had to change hands. Uh, yeah, so there will be a little bit of a lull on the clips over the next couple of weeks. I'll try and post at least one every two weeks. But just uh, uh, basically until we move in, get settled in, I've got to work out the shop and other bits and pieces uh, that I'm trying to streamline um, those, just the way people buy stuff through the website and that sort of thing. Uh, but yeah, I will pretty much will leave it there. I do hope you have been enjoying these renovation clips. If you're interested to seeing on how it all started out, there will be a playlist at the end here you can click on. Uh, just a quick one as well, just a special for you folks here on YouTube. Um, the root pouches are still available. I'm not promoting them anymore on Facebook. But if you're in Australia, you can still get 20% off the existing stock that I have. Um, just so I, I can clear it out and make some room while we settle back into the place. So yeah, there'll be a link down below in the description if you want to click on that. Take you to the root pouch page. Um, yeah, 20% discount until further notice. So there you go, just on root pouches, by the way, not uni seals, venturis and nutcrackers. So I will leave it there. Do hope you're all well and happy and your gardens are booming and I'll catch you next clip. Cheers, folks. Have a top one.